Ladies and gentlemen, it has been 10 years since the channel debuted, but it's also been 7 to 8 years since the first video was released, which was my attempt to do a McDonald's toy review, except they weren't McDonald's toys, they were normal toys that I got at Walmart. So, instead, to celebrate the 10 year anniversary, well, I decided for one of the things to be, to review every single one of these McDonald's toys. Oh wait, I think there's more. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so, this is my McDonald's box. McDonald's, no, McDonald's Happy Meal collection. So, let's get these things open up, and, and uh, let's get the show on the road. I think let's start with this one, so... Movies back over here. I'll save this one for last. And let's start with you. All right, to start things off, here is the one that started it all. The Velma figure from the Scooby Doo Toy Review video. Don't watch it, you do not have my permission to watch it. And if you do, then I'm going to have to come to your house using psychic connections. And this is the only figure left. Because all the other ones disappeared and so did, so did the book. So she's the last one. But luckily, she's she's got herself a new friend. But before that, let's take a look at her movements and see what she can do. So, she can turn her head. At a 180 degree. She can move her arms like elbows. Both of them. One looks like it's trying to hold something. The other looks like a sideways high five like... And then you have the legs, which actually move quite pretty well. She doesn't have, doesn't really have any gimmicks, so yeah. But luckily, she's got herself a friend. A 2020 Daphne Scoop McDonald's toy to um ah, to market for this new Scoop movie that came out uh, two years ago. And it's a bobblehead. Has no articulation besides the head, and what it does is, well, it's a bobblehead. Look, and and to, and to make things spooky, you can make it turn 360. I'm coming for you. But yeah, now I've almost got a friend again. But enough about that. Let's get to the rest of the stuff. Okay, let's start with some boxes. This is the recent box for Mario Kart. You can see on the side, it's got a little activity to crack the code to, to find out about the characters. So for the mushroom, we got an M, we got an A. I think it's pretty obvious about what this, what the first one is, it's Mario. Okay, so let me see, for this one, we got... That's Peach. And then for this one, we have Y... Oh, Yoshi, Yoshi. And then for this one... Luigi. Okay, and then you have this thing, this Peach, and this Mario, it's the bottom, it's a paper box. And then we have the Disney 50th Anniversary Edition, which is folded up, allow me to uh, fold it back together. Ah, that's more like it. Okay, so you have the, so you have the front, which has Cinderella's Castle, with the 50th Anniversary logo on it. And then on the side, you got a bunch of the characters. The classic Happy Meal Smile, right there. And then you have more characters on here. It's basically about as many characters inside this 50th Anniversary Collection, probably about almost as much as the ones to uh, help market for the 101 Dalmatians movie back in 1996. But now let's get to the toys. Let's start off with some of the recent ones. The Teen Titans Go Comics. Now I'm not really a fan of the show, but this is some pretty good merchandise because it reminds me a lot of the McDonald's Looney Tunes Super Friends for whoever remembers that. So what? So so let's start with Raven. 
and with number three in the set, you get yourself some uh, coloring pencils, as, as you can tell. And then inside of here, you have... Okay, you have this giant piece of, pi piece of paper. I, got, I gotta stand this back. Okay, you have this giant piece of paper, which is so huge. But, but the good thing is, what's inside of it is that you get yourself, like, a little comic that gives you a, a short story. Which is awesome. And then, on the other side, you have this little poster of Raven herself. So basically, you can, like, color her in and, like, do all that jazz. And yeah, that's basically what this what this does. And then there's the one with all the characters together on the box site. Alright, and it has this of the Who Says for selling for the little kitties. Is, and it's also number 5 in the set. So it's pretty much the same thing. You get the color pencils and the comic inside of it. And once you're done with it, you can fold it back together. And fold it inside of these little boxes. Yeah, pretty neat. Next up inside of this bucket as part of the McDonald's collection is this Trouble board game character. Which looks incredibly cute and the eyes kind of remind me of a... Uh, I want to say Rocco's Mom in Life, but I also want to say Ed and Eddie, so, uh, yeah. So basically, if it's, it's as if board games came to life and was a small miniature version that you can take wherever you go. In your pocket. And it has legs, they don't move. But there is articulation with the arms, so you can make it, make them go like this, or like this, or like that, or just do anything that, in that you want with that. And so basically, as you can see on the back, act, no, this is not a turtle shell or a tumor. This is a little thing to help with the game of trouble, because that's what she that she is supposed to represent. So then you open her face, and then you take out the instructions that tell you how to play the game, and then inside of this little bag, you have a little foldable thing for the game of trouble. Now I'm not sure where the rest of the pieces went. Huh? Let me see. Yeah, I, they're supposed to be pawns, but uh, they were cardboard, so uh, they got lost. But basically, what you were supposed so basically what but basically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to uh, fold this back in, just like so, and you would take turns moving the characters and press this, and you basically know how uh, the game of trouble goes. And then once you're done, you fold this right back inside of this little baggie right here, just like so, without having trouble with it come on i have a feeling this is going to be a long long extremely long video and then you and then you put the instructions first inside of here it's, it's a little hard to fit and then you put in the game you fold back up and you take it wherever you go so yeah pretty neat Okay, up next we have this Luca figure from McDonald's, and also well as this cat figure from the Wonder Woman 1984 set for a Burger King. So, I'm not sure what Luca's supposed to do in here, I kind of forgot what you're supposed to do. But it is made by McDonald's, but it is a pretty nice figure. Now, for the this character from Wonder Woman, the gimmick is, you take this little switch right here and uh, it does this. So, uh, hey, he's gonna smack you. Yeah. Wait, wait, no, no, ow. The next free ones we're gonna do is a Spirit on Riding Free McDonald's toy, a Pixar plush from McDonald's, and also as well as a McDonald's was a little pamphlet for the Wizard of Oz from back in 2008. Look at that, Lego Batman in the video game. It's pretty neat. And then you have the the Buzz Lightyear Pixar plush. It's pretty nice. And you can take this boat clip and then you can put it on your backpack or like a suitcase or something. And yeah. Now for the Spirit Riding Free, it's number five in the set. It's a Spirit with a comb. It's made in 2020, so let's open this baby up. Ah. Sm bag, the insides of the, of the bag usually smell nice. It can smell better when uh, you don't use uh, 
when you don't open it immediately while you're in McDonald's. So the front hair does not open, ha is not actual hair, but this is. And it also comes with some a little sticker sheet that you can have. And what and basically what you do is that you take this comb right here that has spirit inside of it, and you comb the tail just like so. So yeah, if you don't got a Barbie, you play with spirit. Up next, we have a Pikachu, Ron's Gone One, and Hello Kitty toys, all from McDonald's. Let's start off with Hello Kitty. So this is basically your, your good old butterfly, right? She's very adorable. It was released in 2019. Not, that's not, not really too far away. So basically, the gimmick is you take this little antenna thing, and, and it helps move the wings just like so. So it looks like she's flying. Now, with Wrong from Wrong's Gone On himself, uh, I, I'm not sure if you're supposed to see something inside of it. I'm trying to see what you're supposed to see. Yeah, I don't see nothing on it, so I don't see what's with that. But, uh, what you can do with this is that, uh, these spin- These, uh, wheels spin around, and when they spin around, it makes, uh, Ron's arms move. Well, not that much when you hold them together, but when- Well, when you put them place them down. Look at that. It's pretty nice. Oh, wait, wait. I guess it's a pullback feature. First of all, you can make it, it do this. Maybe I just got it. All right, and look at that. We almost had something. Yeah, pretty cool. And then we have Pikachu from 2017. So basically, you turn this on switch on, and you press this button right here, and then his, yeah, his lights glow, and I'm so glad that still works. Actually, let me turn off the light to uh, show you. Now, look at that. That's pretty neat. I love this toy. Now, we have another Hello Kitty, another Wrong from Wrong Scott Wrong, and another My Little Pony. Let's start off with Hello Kitty once again. This time, she's a mermaid. Also, This also released in 2018. Pretty nice. I, I love the way that these characters look. Look, it's what I'm gonna miss about the plastic era of uh, McDonald's. Now they're gonna be start using cardboard. So what you do is that you use, you see this wheel down here. You see it helps the tail move. Let me see if I let me see if I can uh, show you. Yeah, you can see it. But uh, it works even better, just like with with uh, the wrong one, with uh, from wrongs going wrong, where once you move it around, it it uh it shakes the tail. Well, look. Look at that. Pretty nice. And then you have Rong here, who is all squished up and lost his wheels. And instead, there's this wheel thing that's on him. So what you do is that you have him, uh, you have him spin around like a... So basically, you have him be spinning around, and then you have him go ahead... And uh, you keep doing it just like so, and it's a lot, and then, yeah, that's pretty neat. And then we have this My Little Pony character f that, from, that was released to McDonald's back in 2018. And it's basically the same thing with a spirit riding free ho ho horse toy from, from a couple of uh, toys ago. And uh, you basically get a comb and you just comb the... Ponytail here. Yeah, that's it. So now I'm going to start showing off five toys out of time to make things go a little bit more faster. So first off, let's start off with Pikachu right back again. He lost his tail. Um, I can't find an exact release date about when he was made, but he's definitely from McDonald's if I can remember. So what you do is that you take the switch. Actually, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with this thing. That's actually, uh, that's kind of sad. Son of a gun. And then we have Soul here, 22, from the Pixar movie Soul, which was released inside of 2019 by McDonald's, a year before the movie came out. Very surprising. And it's basically the same thing as the Buzz Lightyear thing, except it's a lot more glittery and beautiful. And then we have... Darn, I forgot the boy's name, but it's from Encanto, released back in 2021, last year. And it's supposed to be a game, but I lost a good chunk of the stuff. But basically, I think you're supposed to do something with this. 
and it does spin. And there's also this little thing of the of uh, about like uh, half of the uh, half of the Madrigal family, right there. And then we have this guy from the Secret Life of Pets back in McDonald's back in, from back in uh, 2016. And you have a uh, this little gerbil right here spin. You have him spin around, and then uh, one, either you can either hold him like this and have him do and have it do that. Or you you can hold nope you can't do that, or you can have it do this. That's pretty neat. He's gonna fall. Oh wait no no maybe not. And then finally you have uh, these monkeys from Gaia and the Last Dragon released back in 2021. So basically you take this handle here and you spin the monkeys. Yeah. So if you're addicted to doing wind ups like with a Jack in the Box or a music box. This is definitely a way to help you out. Okay, I need I need to stop. It, it's too much. Okay, so here are the next five couple of toys, and I think I just dropped a little little bag, some random trash. Oh boy, this is this this is gonna be a long video, isn't it? Anyways, next we have this character from Strawberry Shortcake. I don't know her name because I didn't really check out the show. It was released back in 2010. Now I was only four years old when this this toy was released, and uh, yeah, it's just a little figure. I think you can uh, you can you can move her waist, and you can move a little bit of arms. They're a little bit rubbery, <sighs> but not that much. There's there's not that much articulation with this figure. It just exists. And then the same thing goes with this uh, golden minion to. Um, sponsored Rise of Gloom, which is released back in 2019. You have this golden ballerina minion. I think it was a rare one. And yeah. And then there's another My Little Pony figure, which is the same thing as the previous one, which I'm not going to go into because I'm already sick and tired of it. <laughs> oh boy. And then we have another version of Spirit from Spirit and Riding Free from McDonald's, released back in 2020 as well. Except it has tan hair. Don't know why. I'm pretty sure it's a different character, but I don't know. So basically, the gimmick is, you press this little button here, and it helps move the legs. Watch. Look at that. Look at that, it's pretty cool. Stop staring at the camera. And then we have this little piece of Woodstock from the Peanuts movie back in 2015. This is one of the best um, movies to be based upon... On something that was right before the movie even came out. So I'd highly recommend you check out the movie. movie If you, you can find it. So it's, Woodstock's supposed to stand on something. And I think there was like a magnet in here. That um, Snoopy's supposed to like uh, spin under. But uh, I don't have that much of the toy. But uh, it's still a nice toy. And I'd highly recommend that you see the movie. Well. Oh. Right then. And now it's time to get through some. Use the best toys from inside of the blue bucket inside the McDonald's toys, which are some of the secondary as McDonald's toys. So, let's start off with a little special honorable mention of this little pack of Pokemon trading cards that they release in McDonald's a lot. Yeah. That's pretty much it with that. I don't really got the cards. And then, let's start off with Daphne from Space Jam 2, a new legacy, released back in uh, 2020. So basically, what you're supposed to do is that you're supposed to take this uh, this little ball from inside of here, and then you have it pressed down, and then I think Daphne's supposed to either you're either supposed to push his head or pull it, and then the ball is supposed to v v then get out of his legs, just like so. But I don't got the ball unfortunately, so yeah, that sucks. But it's still a neat looking toy. Same thing goes with uh, Bugs Bunny here. Also released with uh, Daphne Duck, and he's got this little ball in his head which can spin. So the gimmick is you take you take the figure which has no articulation besides his ears because for his ears, ears it goes with the ball to allow him to do this. You see that? That looks nice. Looks like as if he's um, Matt playing tricks with the ball with his ears. P very neat. And then we have a, uh, I think his name was Duke. And, and it's from Burger King to sponsor for Secret Life of Pets back in 2016 as well. 
Now he's like um, Daphne of being a bobblehead, but you but except you can turn it his head 360 as well, and he, it also shakes. And honestly, the color kind of reminds me a lot of a uh, Manny from inside of the McDonald Burger King toys that he was in for uh, the Ice the sponsor the Ice Age movies. So that's pretty cool. And then we have Woody from Burger King back in 1996 to sponsor Toy Story coming onto VHS back in the day. And basically, there was supposed to be a lasso bean with him to hold his hand. As you can tell, this hand is incredibly loose. This toy is really old. I don't, I don't know how it, we still have this one. So basically, you're supposed to take this little, little wheel right here, and then it's supposed to turn the hand to help him lasso the rope. As you can tell, it's not really going that well. It's, uh, yeah, it's going as well as you can expect it to be. But it's a still pretty nice toy. You can spin the head, and you can also move the legs, and also as well as move the arm. That's still, it's still pretty, still pretty cool. And then we have this Onward van from back in 2020 when the movie came out. So basically, you can turn, you can move this car back and forth, and when you open this door, you see, uh, you see the guy that Chris, Pl Chris Pratt plays, so I'm just gonna call that character Blue Pr Pratt. And then you open this little unicorn door, which you can actually open, and Blue Pratt com comes over here. It's pretty cool. You can see the little mechanism from inside here. Look, look. Wait, you can't see it. So basically, it, 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 he goes from here to here. Yeah, that's very neat. I'm telling you, these toys just keep getting better and better. So... With this one, it came from Toy Story 4, which was released back in 2019. Now, unfortunately, the piece of the RV, where if you collect all of them, it builds an RV. But unfortunately, this is not the piece that came with Buzz. I don't know where it is, but it's probably long gone. This is supposed to be with Woody, but it's but we don't have him, unfortunately. But here is Buzz, and it is pretty cool. Pretty nice. The, and it's, honestly, when this toy came out, I believe that McDonald's... Old toys are starting to get better and better. And they did for a while. But now they're going to start being a lot less and less uh, as amazing as how they used to be now. And as well as the ones from uh, the ages of uh, 2019 like to 2021. So right on here you have a slinky. And then you have combat car right inside of there. As you can see. And uh, yeah. So I couldn't say much but there's not really much more I can do with him. And then up next, you have Lumiere from the Dis Walt Disney 50th Anniversary Collection. He is number 20 inside of the set of all these characters. L look at all these characters. So many. It's too many to count. So here's Lumiere. And uh, if you change the way that this hologram piece moves, it changes the sky. That's pretty cool. And then you have Sandy from Wendy's to, to promote the third Spongebob movie. And then you, you open this little thing. And there, there's supposed to be something that comes inside of it. But there's nothing inside of this one. But it is still pretty nice. And it's also great to see Spongebob inside of, ha of uh, fast food toys again. Honestly. So let me just get, 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 hey, hey, get in there. Anyways, and then you have Squidward, and it has a little keychain, so basically, so basically you can clip it on wherever you go, and then you take Squidward open, and you open him up, and then you have this little sticker of Squidward, and then you have this little standee of Squidward, and yeah, I think it's like a little, little personal entertainment package of random crap that your kids would probably just throw away and they would just probably not care about that much. But it's still pretty nice, and it's also a pretty good for collectibles. And, and and these, but man, these things are hard to put to push back together. But yeah, and then finally we have a piece of resistance. That it now back in 2017, in McDonald's this little did this little thing where they did this little parade thing, like how they did back in the day, for a brief moment, and. 
and it had random characters from famous franchises that, McDo that McDonald's used of the properties to make toys for, for the Happy Meal. So for this one, it's The Secret Life of Pets, and uh, this is uh, Duke and Max together inside of a sled going up and down. So basically, if you roll them, roll them the sled goes up and down. Pretty nice. And last McDonald's toys from the blue, blue bucket inside of the McDonald's collection are some are the secondary best toys that I have in my collection so far. First off, is a McNugget Buddy. Who doesn't love a McNugget Buddy? They're creepy and they stare at you and they're cute and adorable. Look at those cute little chubby little cheeks. It was, unfortunately, it's not one of the ones from the 20th century. It's the one that came for the 40th anniversary of the Happy Meal back in 2019. But it's still pretty nice, and I'm so glad I have inside my collection. And then we have Pocahontas and Journey into a New World inside of her little gown dress when she went to the New World. And then you have her standing on a VHS tape. That's so cool. It was released back in, in the 1990s. I think it was 1996. But yeah, it also came with a little parade thing, like the thing that I showed you with the Christmas one. And then you would pull these things out and help it connect with other tapes. And then, and there's, there's this little wheel down here. And then, because of the wheel, it can help Pocahontas turn around, like a, doing a little dance. So basically, when you, when you, when you, sorry, McNugget buddy. So basically, when you roll her around, she does this. Now, look at that. That's pretty damn cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Now that I've done both the McNugget buddy and uh, Pocahontas and the blue bucket's done. We can now move over to the blue box. Let's get these boys out and start taking a look at them. So first toys inside the brown box, brown box so far are pretty, so far are, already look pretty average. So let's start off with some of the most basic one. The National Geographic Kids plushies, which are kind of like the beanie plushies released back in 2018. This is a humpback whale. So a plush that you can take with home with you. Yeah. And then we have this little robot toys that came that were inspired by the Discovery Channel, released back in 2020. This little robot you can have the arms and legs pose around, so you can have it do a little stand. And this was also part of another toy, or that came from the same set, but I, I'm not sure what happened to uh, his body. Pretty sure it's dead. And then we have this Pokemon from McDonald's, released back in about 2013. That's years ago. In fact, that's literally an entire year before the channel even started, so that's crazy. So basically, what the gimmick is, you take this little button here, and as you can see, it moves the arms. Is this entertaining enough for you? Good. We're already off to a great start for the brown box. And then we have some of, and then we have the Eternals for, based upon the movie from Marvel, which was released back in 2021. So. Let's look at, uh, which one's the earliest one. Okay, let's see. We have number nine, number two. Okay, so number two in this set is Cersei. So let's take a look at her. She looks pretty nice. So, and it has instructions on here. So it says on the back of here, it has a little button. And once you press it, it moves her arm. And this little gem, gem thing is a little bit clear, and that's pretty cute. You can't, there's, but besides the arm button, there's no other articulation with her. Oh, but there is this little thing. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure if that's supposed to do something, but, uh, okay. Yeah. And then, for number nine in the set, we have Gilgamesh. So, let's open this sucker up. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, yeah. You, you, you press this button on the back of his head, and you move his arms. Except this time, it makes his fists go together. So that's a little bit better. But like the other one, it has no, not really much articulation. But however, uh, with these toys, you can combine them together. So look at that. So now, double action. Nice. Well, it looks like we're about to start having more and more bad uh, toys from McDonald's. So, let's start off with the generic emoji plushies, which were both released back in 2016. You can basically take these wherever you want to go. Happy and 
Um, laughing so hard that they're crying tears of joy. Yeah, that's it. If any have these little Lion King toys, I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to do do these, but they're based upon the live action adaption made back in 2019. And with this one, it just uh, does that. That's it. And then for this one, it these do literally nothing besides putting them together, with, of which in this case they have to fit, and yet they don't fit. So it these are these are the worst toys so far. And then we have Groots from Marvel, released back in 2020, and there's in the button on the back, and, and this time, it moves his head and arms, that's so adorable. Out of all, all the toys inside of, is out of these five, this one is obviously the best one. It's the only good one out of these five. You guys are garbage. Get out of here, make way for Groot. I am Groot. This time, I just gotta tell you about all the characters that, that are the last ones inside, inside the brown box, which is all these Avengers toys to celebrate both Marvel and Avengers Endgame release in... T so, um... Let me see if I got this right. Let me see. Okay, so, these two... Wait, let me check. Yeah, these two released back in 2020, and these five released back in 2019 for Avengers Endgame. So, we have have a uh, Bucky and we have Falcon buttons on the back. So for Bucky, it moves his metal arm. Unfortunately, with these figures, they have no, not really much articulation besides the button pressing. And then for Falcon, it moves his uh it moves his wings like that. And then for Captain America, you have a button on the back. And actually, you can turn this on. I think it's supposed to turn the lights on, but I don't. I don't think it, anything's working anymore. Yeah, n nothing's working. I. I think the batteries ran out. Yeah. And it's surprising because the Pikachu toy was able to light up, but yeah, this can't. That 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 uh, that's kind of sad. And then we have Rocket, Raccoon, and Groot. So you have Groot over here, and then the button on the back for Groot have some. Shaking his head, although it's very slightly, so it's kind of hard to see. And then for Rocket on the back of the button, it helps move his arm up, so then he can look like that he's pointing and shooting the gun. Okay. And then finally, you have Hawkeye inside of a hooded suit, and you have War Machine. For Hawkeye, you have the button on the back helps him raise his blade up to, to make him look like a, more like a ninja. And then for War Machine, it's like Falcon where it helps lift up these wings, despite the fact that he, he didn't really have wings, he had rocket boots. But the coolest thing about these McDonald's Marvel toys, actually, let me bring out the Eternals and the Eternals. The best part about these toys is that you can connect them together. Like, look, look at this. So then, they could all be together. So look at that. That is pretty freaking dope. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Now to say now for the best one for last. Okay, so I'm supposed to set up for the final box, but uh trying to make space for the shot has been pretty hard. Like look at all these toys. I had to fit them all inside of a tiny space so that it doesn't look messy. And already it looks messy, like look at that. Anyways, time to get the final box. Wow. I'm actually kind of a uh, I'm kind of mad because I thought this thing was going to fall down, but it didn't, so yeah, whatever. Back to the video. And now it's time for the best, best box for last. My favorite McDonald's toys that I consider the best. It is, it is and it is for Cartoon Network's Adventure Time. Uh, I'm And the best part is I have the entire set that I bought from eBay. I have one. So basically, in total, the set is basically a set of one, two, three, four, five, six amazing, fantastic, perfect toys released by McDonald's back in 2014. Let's get these guys out and let's have a closer look at them. So, first off, number one, the scent is Bendable Fin. Look at that old McDonald's logo, it's so cute. I really love the packaging on here. Adventure Time just works pretty well on anything, even McDonald's. 
So he is Finn. He looks so cute. The style on Adventure Time is amazing, and it works so well inside of toys. All right. So basically, you can move his arms, and basically there's some sort of, a, I think, a metal wire inside of him that helps you move him around. And he stands about 5 inches tall, and the best part is, if you can do it properly and right, he can stand. Yay! So let's move him aside. Staying right there, Finn. Number 2 in the set is Bendable Jake, so he's got like Bendable Finn, except slightly t he's smaller. And he is Jake. His body doesn't move, but his legs can move. So basically, you can make him do like a split of his legs like that. Look at that, that's pretty nice. It's pretty cute of Jake the dog. Pretty funny and fantastic character. Works perfectly well. Just, uh, L. Alright, on to the next one, which is the Ice King. So with the Ice King, you pull him out, and then he has the Ice King himself. He looks so cool and nice clear plastic for the ice. So awesome! And then, right inside of here, you have this little, little missile-like ice sphere. And then it has instructions on here that helps you know what to do. So, so the gimmick is, you take the missile and you just shove it inside this little clear ice that uh, Ice King is holding. And then you press the little button in the back, and... It shoots. That's pretty nice. This one, this toy is definitely a total winner. Up next, number four in this set is Changing Channel Bemo. It's like the 50th anniversary e Lumiere, where instead of the sky, Bemo's face changes if you change it a different direction. Like this way, it looks like he's shocked. This way, he looks normal side of his classic style. And this way, he looks happy and smiling. In. And it has some color. You can you can move his arms. You can't move his legs, but you can move. Oh wait, you can slightly move the legs. You just can't move them entirely, but you can move the arms. Now that is pretty nice and pretty neat. Now number five is the best one, and is my and is my favorite McDonald's toy out of them all. Sword Swing Finn, it's the most nicest, coolest looking toy I've ever seen. And you have Finn's sword right there. I'm not sure if it was if it was yellow, but I think it was originally red. Nope, it was yellow. I just remember it. it was yellow. I'm like a diehard fan of Adventure Time, so I'm so glad I have these in my collection. So it's basically not much. You just pull the switch up and down, and it helps you swing his sword up and down. So basically, you can kick the crap out of Ice King. So basically, I can be all like, Ooh, dog, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, kill you, Finn. He's all like, aha, you, you can't kill me. I have a sword. I'm, I'm, I'm going to kill you. Take this. I'm going to use my karate chop action like Buzz Lightyear. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. This video is so embarrassing. Let's get this over. All right. The last toy is Spring Into Action Jake, number six, last up in the set. And the last McDonald's toy that I'm going to show you. So, basically, it's basically like the bobbleheads where in, yeah, it's got this little spring... In, and it's got this little rope inside, and then here's Jake inside of a little pose, and you can make him shake around like a little bobblehead. Kinda works, kinda doesn't. You can also have him, but he can also stand, and you can also make him do this. He kinda bounces when you drop him. Now that's pretty nice. Now, I gotta figure out how to put all these toys together, so just give me a minute. So there you have it everybody. I'm finally done with this freaking video. And this is every single McDonald's toy that I have in my life. It's crazy to think that I just went from Velma and non-McDonald's toys into all of this, into inspiring all of this. Special thank you to Fast Food Toy Reviews for inspiring me to do that video and for basically starting up my, my time as a YouTuber. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And until, and until next time, I'm, I'm... Tune in for the next TMB episode. Where we talk, talk, talk about Mario. Oh, hey, I fight the, I got rid of you guys. No, no, ah.